All right, before we get started, I want to let you know something. You know what? When it comes down to getting my truck fixed, I don't spare no expense. All right? And what do I mean by that? I mean warranty. All right? Warranty. All right, here it is. All right? This is why my Hemi was ticking right at cold start. All right? It sounded like a, like a broken-ass sewing machine trying to go from the inside out, right? So this is what happened. It started ticking at a thousand miles, right? Just that cold start, and then it would go away. You know what I'm saying? But at a thousand miles, all right, it started ticking, and at fifteen thousand miles, it stopped. All right, this is what happened. I took my truck in for a regular old oil change, right? And then I asked the dealer, since my shit's still under warranty, to go ahead and check it out, you know, and see why my truck is ticking on cold start. All right? They couldn't figure it out. All right, because what I had to do is leave my truck there, let it get cold, and then they're going to cold start it. Well, I didn't want to do that. I needed my truck. So I uh, took my truck and said I'll deal with it later, right? Now, remember, they couldn't find nothing wrong with my truck. But as I was leaving, the technician asked me. He said, hey, what kind of gas are you using? Not the not diesel or, or regular gas or whatever race gas. What octane was I using? I told him I was using 91, all right? He said, I want you to try a tank of 89 and see what happens, all right? Not even through a half a tank of fucking 89 octane, it stopped ticking. It does not tick on cold start no more. It's done. It was the damn fuel, all right? I should have listened to the manufacturer's recommendations and put 89 in there to start with, and it would have never started ticking. I have no broken bolts, I have nothing broken, nothing, all right, it's a brand new truck, all right, it was the octane rating that was causing my truck to tick at cold start, freaking amazing. Now the reason why it started ticking at a thousand miles, because that's the 91 I had put in there, you know, it started settling in, and uh, it's got a 32 gallon tank, so it's got some range on it, so the first 500 miles was the gas the dealer put in it. The next 500 miles was the gas that I had put in it. The wrong damn gas, all right? I didn't think it would be that sensitive, but doing my research, I come to find out that this engine's pretty damn sensitive, all right? Thank you. 